Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I've decided to talk about all the classics that I own because this has been highly requested by my Instagram fam they wanted to see all the crazy editions that I own and why do I really like them so let's get started the first series I'm going to talk about is from vintage classic Penguin and the series is of Bronte sisters now the first book is by Anna Bronte The Tenant and the Wildfell Hall the second book in the series is Emily Bronte's Withering Heights and the third one is Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre now what, what I love about these editions is beautiful flaps, amazing illustrations, flexi and they are so compact now these are all the three books that are available in the Bronte sisters edition next book is also from Penguin and it is a Penguin classic deluxe edition of Little Woman and again flexi flaps and this one has gilded edges also this is 150th anniversary edition next edition is Penguin Threads by Penguin and the book is Black Beauty it again has gilded edges and flaps illustrations inside is beautiful the next series that I'm going to show you by vintage classic Penguin is one of my favorites and it is Dickens series. The first book I'm going to talk about is Hard Times. Now let me show you how beautiful the cover is. Sprayed edges and then flat pages with the beautiful beautiful end pages. The second book in the edition is Oliver Twist. The third one in the edition is David Copperfield. The fourth in the edition is A Tale of Two series. The fifth one is a Christmas Carol. The sixth and the last one is Great Expectations. The next series is also Vintage Classics by Penguin and I own only three of those and the series is Russian series. The first one is Life and Fate. The second one is Anna. The third one is The Master and Margarita. Next book is the only book that I own in the Red Spine series by Penguin which is Brave New World. The next series is also vintage by Penguin but the series is called Heroes and Villains. The first book is The Tiger in the Smoke. The second book is The Woman in Black. The third book is Dr. Jekyll and Dr. Hyde. And the fourth book that I own is A Secret Agent. Now these are all the four books that I own in this series and what I love about this series is the black and white theme and also it has quotes from the book on both sides. The next book is a children's classic by Collins Classic and it's called The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Next is Collins Classic and the first book is Dracula and the second book is Little Men. Next is the only book that I own from Hackett Essentials. So the book is Cloud Atlas and this is the only edition that I own. The book uh, is so beautiful, the edges are sprayed in blue and it's such a different concept that I had to buy it. Next are some uh, leather bound books that I don't know the publishing of but I have bought them from book fairs. The first one is Vanity Fair. The second one is The Children of the New Forest. And the third one is Emma. Next series is from Fingerprint Publishing and these are the mini books. The first one is Hamlet. The second one is The Great Gatsby. The third one is Romeo and Juliet. Fourth one is Animal Farm. Next edition are from Pan Mac Miller. The first one is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. The second one is Emma by Jane Austen. Next is a series from Barnes and Nobles that I bought recently from my visit to USA. And these are called Flexi Bound. The first one is Frankenstein. The second is called The Odyssey. The third is called The Scarlet Letter. The fourth is called Persuasion. Now what I love about these editions is that it's flexi. The cover is so smooth and beautiful. The sides have different color uh, sprayed. And it's pretty easy to read actually. Next are the editions from Penguin as well. They are also the vintage collection. The first one is The Great Gatsby. The following two books are from the series which is dedicated by Penguin to the author F. Scott. So the first one is The Great Gatsby. Yes, this is my third, 
third edition of this book and the second one is Flappers and Philosophers. Next two books are Mini Penguin Essentials. The first one is Catcher in the Ray. The second one is A Room with a View. Next book is from Virago Modern Classics and it's Rebecca. Now who doesn't like some drop caps? So next edition are Drop Caps by Penguin and the first one is Jane Austen Pride and Prejudice. Second one is by Charlotte Bronte, Jane Eyre. Now the next two books I don't know the publishing of. I bought it from a book fair and they are such beautiful covers that I've never seen them before. So the first one is Persuasion by Jane Austen and the second one is Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Next book is a special edition published by Pirates Animal Farm. What I love about this book or this edition is that it's so so compact and it has postcards in the end of uh, the book. Next book is part of Penguin English Library and it is 1984 by George Orwell. Now the last series that I'm going to talk about is by Collector's Library. The first one is Peter Pan. The second one is The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. The third one is Alice in the Wonderland but it's a journal, it's not a book. The fourth one is Complete Ghost Stories. The fifth one is The Memoirs of Sherlock Holmes. Now what I love about these editions are they are so compact and you can travel with them anywhere. The pages are super white, the edges are golden and uh, the book uh, itself uh, has a naked red um, velvety touch to it and it's super beautiful. Now the last book that I own is a mini book and it has been published by some publishing that I have no idea of and it is Pride and Prejudice and yes it's my third copy again of some classic that I love and it's a beautiful edition. So those were all the classics that I own. Maybe I have a few more on my shelf somewhere but we can do that later because it's a really long video in itself right now. Uh, also to all the Agatha Christie fans I'm sorry I did not include her in this video because I want to do a special video for her because she holds a special place in my heart and I have such beautiful editions by her that I'm going to make a special video for that one. Now thank you so much for coming back and watching this video. I'm pretty sure you must have learned something different about all these editions that are available out there. And yes, I am crazy about classics and I have a lot of classics and I want to keep buying them. So thank you so much for coming back and see you later. Bye.